Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial of sorts on how to stitch with silks, or I should say how I stitch with silk fibers. I am going to be demonstrating with Glendon Place Thanksgiving. I purchased the silk pack from Glendon Place directly because it calls for all dinky dyes. They give substitutes, but the model was stitched with dinky dyes. Now the fabric I picked was Fiberlicious Magic Potion, 28 count Lugana. The fabric that the model was stitched on was 28 count gray Joblin, light gray Joblin, I'm sorry. So here is the silk pack, the dinky dies. Needle Minder is from Down Sunshine Lane. So let's talk about silk. Silk is stronger than regular floss, okay? And silk is also more expensive. We know this. I mean, a skein of DMC now is what, 52 cents? This silk pack, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven skeins, this was forty-nine dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. The key to stitching with silk, though, that I found is preparation. Number one, silk will snag on everything, especially dry fingers. So I try to use, before I start stitching with silk, I try to use a stitcher friendly lotion like the Stitcher's Lotion, and I don't have a bottle of it right here to show you. And then wait a few minutes before stitching. Or you can even use, there's a blue bottle and I think it's called Gloves in a Bottle, something like that. Number two, use a good quality needle. Meaning, don't use a needle that you've used on a previous project. Get a new needle. Start with a brand new needle. Number three, to reduce the drag and fraying of your threads, because we all know as you stitch and you're pulling the fabric, the fabric, Jesus, as you're pulling even regular DMC through the fabric, it will start to fray. Silk will definitely do that same thing. That's the color that I'm going to be stitching with. So use strands that are no longer than 18 inches and don't guess on it. I mean, have a tape measure next to you. Okay. You can also use a thread conditioner like thread heaven also. Although I never do that. Okay. And don't be afraid to use a laying tool. And I actually meant to get mine. I'm going to pause this so I can get that. Hold on one second. Okay. Here is my laying tool. I got this from Down Sunshine Lane. I don't think it was that much, but I'll demonstrate how I use that. And when using two strands, separate each strand and put them back together. I mean, especially when... I don't think I've ever used the loop method when I've stitched with silk. Every time I've stitched with silk, however, they've been variegated. So you're not supposed to do that anyway. So personally, I stitch slower with silk than I do with regular DMC. And I stitch slower because I'm much more conscious of how the threads lay side by side. But silk is also very slippery, meaning for me, it tends to slip through the needle much more frequently than regular DMC does. And you never want to put knots in the end of your thread or anything like that. Okay, I have my tape measure out here. I'm going to measure 18 inches of thread. All right, that's right there. It's actually still 
quite a long piece. Should probably use that measurement for a regular DMC too, because sometimes I find I cut even that too long. Okay. Now, Dinky Dyes, which is this silk that I'm using, is six ply, and it is spun silk. There's also what's called filament silk. I've never used that. And like I said, you may stitch with silk in a different way. This is just how I do it. And as far as storing silk threads, I wind mine on bobbins. I know people have said that it puts kinks in the silk thread. I've never had that problem. So that's how I store mine in bobbins. Okay, because I am just starting out, I'm going to use the waist knot to start these, to start this strand. I tie a knot in the end, and I'm going to do it again so it's a little bit bigger. If I can do it. Okay, now the middle of this, I'm going to start in the middle, it is starting with the word. So that's what I'm going to be stitching. Where is, oh, I'm losing my mind here, people. Okay, and what's really nice about this pattern, it's nice and big. I really like that. Okay. So, got my lotion on my hands. I don't put Thread Heaven on this. That's just me. All right, I'm going to do a couple stitches. So I'm just going to... I forget where I actually was in the center. I think it was right there. I'm just going to start... Okay, I'm going to put my waist knot there because I have to stitch a row of five stitches. So I'm going to count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Let me get you in a little closer. Okay. So, like I said, I will pull, and man, it just, it glides like butter, I'm telling you. But how I would use the laying tool is I would put it here like this when I'm coming down with my first leg. You kind of just cup the threads like that. I mainly use a laying tool when I stitch needlepoint. Because if I'm using silk or even DMC, you use six strands. And that's hard to get them to lay side by side. But yeah, I just... Now I'm stitching towards that waist knot so I can cut that off when I get there. And because this is variegated, I complete each stitch as I go along. And I know some of you do that anyway, just with normal DMC. And you, you know, you just stitch as you would normally stitch. But the 18 inches for the length of thread, that's probably one of the most important things. And I have to say, I'm really surprised that the thread has not pulled out of the eye of the needle yet. <laughs> but I love this pattern. And it just, see, I jinxed myself. It just, I just pulled it out. I tugged on it and I think my nail caught it. So yeah, if you have nails like mine, my nails will tend to catch the thread also. But yeah, I, I love this pattern right when it came out and a lot of her patterns use Dinky Dye Silk, especially all of her dessert series. 
the uh, silk threads are beautiful to stitch with and I love dinky dies okay I'm to that fifth stitch so I'm gonna cut that this is gonna look really good on this fabric that bright orange I have so many projects in the works people so many projects started now which I normally do not do that we know this okay let me stitch that fifth stitch And I'm gonna show you up close the other silk threads that are in this pack. Let me stitch two more below here. And yeah, this laying tool is really light. There's also metal ones. This is a wood one. And be careful with the laying tool, they're really sharp. You will poke yourself. I speak from experience. <laughs> But yeah, this is going to be... I've never stitched a Glendon place. I started the Haunting Household. As you saw that with a, a Stitch With Me video I did. And I just love the turkeys and... Yeah. I'll show you a glimpse of the... Okay, that's all I'm going to stitch. That looks really nice though. I really, really like that. Okay, so... I'm going to show you a glimpse of the pattern because I wanted to show you how big. See how big it is? I love that. I love how big you have no trouble seeing it whatsoever. Let me highlight what I just did really quickly. And I made a working copy of this pattern this time. Okay, so the rest of the floss. That one that I stitched with was called Indian Summer. And it calls for two skeins of that because of the word thanks. And I forget, oh, and I think it's also in the border on the bottom, maybe? No. Okay. But here are some other colors that they use. Let me get you back. Okay. This is Jack-O-Lantern. This is Chinese Red. This is Golden Poppy, the second one of Indian Summer. This is French Press, Mud Flats, Stormy Sky. Now, you may be thinking, oh no, that gray is really close to this fabric. But if you look at the cover, the gray is right here where it's kind of inside you know what I mean it's not like the yellow that's right on the outside right butt up against the fabric cut a slow is that how you pronounce that yeah I don't know how you pronounce that cat's cat I like that color that's really variegated that looks like that's this right here and then nut wood so I think all of those are going to look really fantastic on this. And like I said, stitching with silk is not hard. It just takes some preparation. Those steps that I listed out in the beginning, if you do those, you will find that your silk stitching experience will go much smoother. That's it for me today, guys. Wow, 14 minutes just to show you that. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video.